You, you've got uh, Baker Mayfield coming off two years ago of what I considered a good year, then a poor year last year. Most of the local people covering the Browns have the same feeling, and that is that somehow, someway, Baker's going to be much improved this year. What, to you, constitutes a good season or a winning season? Well, winning, obviously, is the game's won, but what constitutes uh, a good year for Baker Mayfield? I mean victories you you got to deliver victories uh by hook or by crook i mean i suspect that kevin stefanski would be fine with a victory that doesn't involve ridiculous numbers by baker mayfield because of the egalitarian nature of his offense and you think about the running game you think about uh, the short passing game the play actions and whatnot that lead to long passes but uh, maybe a ball control situation, which, by the way, would come a across, a, come in very handy against Baltimore. The more you possess the ball, the less chance uh, uh, Lamar Jackson has yeah. with. And, and the amount of time, and the amount of uh, uh, tight ends that the Browns could utilize. Uh, yes, no doubt about it. Unless here's the thing: I will judge Mayfield, as I said, on victories delivered because his numbers. You're, you're expecting to be good if the Browns are going to be good. That's that's almost a given. I'm not saying that the Browns are going to be able to overcome a bad statistical game from Baker Mayfield. But when I look at what, what I'm talking about is think of the Patriots, think of the uh, 49ers, the gold standard, uh, the Patriots, and then, of course, the Niners uh, on the rise here with San Shanahan. They were in the Super Bowl last year. Belichick has always been a guy saying, you know what, if Tom Brady were to throw for 150 yards and we had a matchup to exploit on the ground, we're going to do it. If we need Tom Brady to throw for 350 yards, we're going to do it. If we need him to throw for 250, we'll do it. You saw Shanahan with, with Garoppolo last year do similar stuff. There were games where Kyle Shanahan was saying to the opponent, you can't stop my running game. So I'm not just going to throw for the sake of getting Jimmy Garoppolo's stats padded. Uh, another team, the Tennessee Titans. The Tennessee Titans went, you know, pretty well. It did a nice job in the playoffs last year, certainly with the, the upset special over uh, Baltimore. Um, but when, when they needed to run the ball, they ran it. And Mike Vrabel wasn't worried about Ryan Tannehill's stats at quarterback, he was like, well, how are we going to win the game? And I think that's where Baker Mayfield comes in because maybe Mayfield is needed to throw the ball 45 times for, for 350 yards, and then other times he's not. And and that's why I don't think you're gonna, you, you judge him strictly on stat line. You judge him on did he deliver a victory. Right now.